Scenes of panic buying in the western Chinese city of Lanzhou. The city's drinking water is contaminated with benzene. Benzene is a cancer-causing chemical. Local officials say the contamination is 20 times higher more than the national standard. Of course we want the government to come out and give everyone an explanation to avoid panic. It's impossible for so many people to survive on this, right? Lanzhou has 3.6 million people. It's a heavily industrialized city, considered one of the country's most polluted. Residents have been told to avoid drinking tap water for at least a day. Further north, in Beijing, the High Court has upheld a four-year jail sentence against political activist Xu Zhiyong. Xu's lawyer charged the government is trying to destroy Xu's new China movement. The group campaigns against official corruption, among other issues. According to Xu Zhiyong, the new citizens' movement has about five to 7,000 members across the country, but even that number seems considered dangerous by the ruling Communist Party. Western reporters and diplomats refused entry to Xu's hearing. An official from the U.S. Embassy expressed deep disappointment in the court's ruling. More confusion over Malaysian flight MH370. In Beijing, Australia's Prime Minister says searchers are close to locating the missing airliner. We are confident that we know the position of the black box flight recorder to within some kilometres. Our confidence in the approximate position of the black box. But back in Perth, the man in charge of the massive air and sea search was less optimistic. Angus Hutton said there had been no major breakthrough. Hi, I'm Tui Vu, the host of Link Asia. Catch Link Asia every Friday on Link TV, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Check our website for local listings on KCET Los Angeles and PBS's The World Channel.